stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start my coverage of Boot Hill Bounties. It is by Experimental Gamer Studios. And while it released a while back, a few years ago actually, on to Steam, it's something that I had totally missed, never even heard of before I uh, was reached out and saying, hey, this game's coming to the Nintendo Switch. You'd be interested in it? And I'm like, it looks like a lot of fun. Yes, I would be interested. So it released onto Nintendo Switch on April 14th, 2020. You guys can grab it for your very own selves and play it. I'm about to hop in for the very first time and see what's up. So let's do that. Let us see exactly what it is we can do. And I kind of I th I have this feeling I'm going to be really sad that I missed this when it first came out on Steam. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's one of those games that's going to be perfect for like the handheld system that is the Nintendo Switch. Well, I don't know. Either way, we're here for it. All right. There's a doggo. Oh. That does not fit the... Well, it kind of does, I guess. Is that a beagle? Oh. Kid. Uh, oh, oh, I can move. Well, hello. Oh, boy. I have no idea how to do any of this stuff yet, so we'll figure it out as we go. All right, so that brought up that, and okay, I guess we're just going to follow the dog. Rusty senses danger up ahead. You'd better find a weapon before going any further. Press A to interact with objects. It's time to plan our next move. Let's all meet at Ghost Rock tomorrow night. Rosie. Oh, there's two chests over here, all right. I found some armor, knickerbockers, and a hand weapon, the Green River. All right. So I assume I need to equip these things, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and we got a Stetson. Let's go ahead and get the knickerbocker going on. And we're going to throw ourselves the Green River into hand, and I think we're good to go. I like that you can use the analog stick to move around, or you can use the D-pad if you prefer that. I always like having both of those options. Dog is really upset. Ooh, what is that thing? It's a demon muskrat. It's like a coyote, maybe? Demon coyote? Familiar voice. Careful, kid. Huh? Hi ho, Silver! No, it's fine. They say Ghost Rock stirs something in the wildlife here. I had Doc? That coyote looks poised to attack. Oh, dang. Come on, Rusty. Let's get him. Oh, that was a cool transition. All right. Uh, oh, we have like a, a timer, do we? Kid. What's up? Don't panic. I'm, I'm not panicking yet. Does that say Beagle Bay? It does. Sorry. I've seen you take on deadly animals in this coyote. But if you need a combat explanation... I'm here to remind you how this works. Sweet, because I have no idea what's going on. Take the tutorial? Yes, please. Let's start with an overview of what we're looking at here. My throat's going to be so sore by the end of this. It's fine. Here is your enemy. This medicine coyote. This red bar represents the coyote's health. Yep, I, I gathered that much. This blue bar represents the coyote's power. And with power... Great power comes great response. No, sorry. Power, wrong, wrong thing. Power spent to perform actions in battle called advantages. Right. Power. Okay, normally power gradually fills up in real time. However, I have things paused at the moment. Here's your own health bar. Let's see it. You have full health. Good. And here's your own power bar. Unless there's an unusual effect in play, everyone's power generates at the same rate. Good to know. T uh, these are the actions you can use in this fight. We call them vantages. Gotcha. These numbers are the power cost for each vantage. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm kind of getting it. Also, each vantage has its own smaller blue power bar under it. This is just to show how close you are to having enough power to execute it. Alright, gotcha. 
Try using the bandage Smash. It's a simple attack using your hand weapon. Press A to select Smash, and then press A again to confirm your target. Alright, executing Smash costs three vantage points. But since you don't have three vantage points at this time, you simply go into this charging state. Alright. I'm going to unpause the battle so your power can charge. Once your power is charged to three, you'll automatically send it to execute Smash. Sorry, spend it to execute Smash. Alright. The coyote is damaged. Now let's wait a moment and see what the coyote does. I, I don't really want to do that. Ow, he hit me. Now the coyote hits you with his attack, Scratch. Do you see this little blinking sliver here on the coyote's power bar? I do. This indicates the power cost for the vantage the coyote is planning next. All right. Once the coyote's power bar fills up to this point, it will execute the vantage. All right, got it, all over. Now we don't know what the vantage the coyote is planning, but we can gauge how dangerous will be based on the power cost, makes sense. I'd say, just from eyeballing it here, that this sliver is at the 4 power mark. Okay. I guess out of 10, so yeah, that makes about sense. Uh, the most important tip I can give you is to be aware of when your enemy attacks will execute. So keep an eye on the sliver. Uh, to prepare for an incoming attack, you can use dodge to try to evade the attack. Go ahead and execute the dodge vantage now. All right, so we're dodging. Now you have the dodging stance active. Oh, it just stays with us. Okay, cool, I didn't know if it was like a, you dodge for two seconds or whatnot. Stances are conditions that last for a while. In this case, dodging will cause you to automatically attempt to evade physical attacks coming your way. Dodging isn't always successful, however. It depends on your dexterity and the accuracy of the attack and the luck, of course. The coyote will soon execute his attack and we'll see if your dodge is successful. You can also see the success rate. I will. Alright, we'll I'll just wait it out here. 88% chance. You'll continue to dodge any. Oh, really? Any other incoming attacks until your dodging stance wears off. Dodging is useful because not only do you avoid damage, you cause an enemy to waste their power. Yep. I'm all over it. Let's wait and see what the coyote does next. Do we have to? Oh, this is a weak attack. It's what, like three? Or two, maybe? Oh, he's dodging now, all right. Hmm, now it looks like the coyote is dodging. You could use a vantage like Beagle Bay, which can cause an enemy to stagger. Okay, sounds good. A staggering target cannot use any stances, including dodge. Of course, Beagle Bay costs power to use, that could otherwise be spent on simply attacking. So it's a tough call. This is what it's all about, kid. Victory is determined by deciding what vantage to use and when to use it. But in this case, I want you to use Beagle Bay so you can see how it works. Bloop! That's great. Mangy, okay, the Mangy Coyote is stumbling. Beagle Bay worked and now the Coyote is staggering. Alright. You can't use any stance like dodge until it wears off. It's important to know what your advantages do. Go to tackle and press the X button to check what it does. There's a lot more I could teach you. Tackle, heavy melee damage, 25% stagger. But it looks like you've got the brass tacks of combat. Remember, the secret to winning battles is understanding what actions to do when you should use each action. And, the power of cheese is always overwhelming. So when in doubt, turn to dairy. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, you So keep an eye on power bars to see when battle participants are going to execute advantages. Oh, one more thing. So, you can pause and unpause the battle clock here by pressing Y. While it is paused, power bars will not charge. But you can still choose your advantages and targets. Oh, that's kind of useful. Pause battle clock when things get hectic so you can carefully plan your strategy. Your strategy. Then when you're ready, just press the Y button again to unpause the clock. I've been pausing the battle clock during this tutorial. Press Y to unpause the battle clock, and then I'll let you continue this fighting this coyote on your road.
If you want to try this tutorial again, just ask Rusty. All right. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for. Oh, I'm dodging. Oh, are you dodging too? All right, buddy. Let's say good day to you. I think I'm just got to smash him here. He seems pretty excited about uh the entire uh, dodging. Oh, he bit me a lot. That didn't feel good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. We're looking for the tackle. We're gonna try to save up for it. I don't know if we'll be able to, because, like, bad Juju Magumbo is going down. Can we dodge this attack? 84% we dodged it. And he's going for another big old nasty bite, so we have time to get this going. And there it is. Boom! Get slapified, fool. Alright, we're going for a smash attack to follow up. Actually, we're gonna go for a dodge. There it is. Sweet, sweet dodge action. 84%, we managed to dodge it. I don't know how long it lasts. Does it tell us? It doesn't. Alright. A quick slap there. Ready to throw dodging back into the mix. If need be, 79%. We managed to do it. It just faded. He's going for a dodge, but we're going to take him down before that happens. And there it is. Sweet, sweet victory is ours. The coyote slinks off to survive another day. Uh, total XP 180, grade B, VP bonus of 1.5. Continue, Melee Master. What, what does that mean? I guess we'll say continue. I wonder what Melee Master means. Uh, kid only used... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's the bonus that I got. I got you. Hey, oh, we get to see the experiences take on in there. That's, that's kind of neat. Oh, and our Stetson has... Um, Experience itself? That's interesting. I'm assuming all of our equipment does. Kid Stetson is now level 2. Unlock the Vantage Kick. Kick power cost 2. Weak physical damage. Choose a current Vantage to replace with Kick. Why, why would I want to do that? Does it have any other bonus? I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep the current. Pretty weird. Get out of here. Nobody wanted you here anyway. All right, what are we doing? We need to go talk to our friend. Oh, he's coming over here. What's up, kid? Looks like you got Rosie's letter too. I did. Oh, uh, what's happening? A former doctor who came out west to practice medicine, but found only tragedy. He joined the Boot Hill Posse to bring down the Saint's little gang. But his ideals clashed with, the sh with Sheriff Howells. Doc's regret over allowing the Saint's little gang to escape has consumed him for ten years, turning him into a grim bounty hunter. Sure. Did that say the rusty spittoon? Ugh, ugh. I first met Kid in Swellsville when that card shark Monty Spades swindled the boy out of a week's pay. I couldn't talk the kid out of uh, messing with a member of the Saints' little gang, so we we agreed to follow Monty. Uh huh. Uh, Spades together into the Whisker Woods. Sorry, the, the font's a little hard to read at times. I apologize. That's when Kid overheard the truth about the attack on Ashwood. The Saints' little gang were the real culprits, and they framed the... Chapakwick? But why did the Saints' little gang come out of hiding after ten years to frame the Indians? Maybe the indigenous... It's fine. Uh, didn't have a chance to reckon on that. We got separated when Kid pursued Monte Spades alone down the Snake Tail River. Look at that. 
sun's coming up and Rosie and Moon still aren't here. Hmm. They could be in danger. We can't do this alone. This could have been a trap. We don't need them. Um, they could be in danger. The Saints little gang are out there. By now, word is spread about Monty Spades and no doubt they'll come after us. They could have gotten to Moon and Rosie. Then there ain't no time to waste. Let's move. Okay. Well, that's cool. Alright. Well, there's an apple over here. How come I don't have a horse? I found a, an apple ingredient. Where's my dog? Where's Rusty? Now, if you guys notice at the bottom, there's a... Looks like the switch controllers and there's a one. This game is actually, uh, I think you can play it up to four people co-op with various different controllers and things like that. So everybody can kind of control one character, which is pretty neat. It's kind of a cool concept. I have to say, I like it. What about this rabbit? Is this rabbit going to be, oh, the rabbit is super angry. Or both of the rabbits, I guess. Look out, kid. These rabbits mean business. Your party starts with extra power for getting the jump on these enemies. I'm gonna tackle it while he's jumping. Oh, I guess it didn't matter in the end. They'll let us pass now. Yeah, they will. Ooh, we got an S rating. Cool. Uh, patient. Oops. Patient fighter can never try to use an action they didn't have power for. A martial artist. Kid only used unarmed combat. A melee master only used melee attacks. Never missed. Bonus leader got the most bonus points in the party. Then we got a patient fighter and the long, the long ranger. We we'll used ranged attacks. Ah, right, that's cool. That's cool. We get to see that going, and you can definitely skip that, which is nice. All right, are any of these plants going to be viable? I guess I'm assuming this mushroom is going to be viable. Hey, hey, it's my doggo. What's up, man? Oh, there you are. Sorry, I got tired of waiting for Doc to finish his story, and I wandered off. I found some things around here that you might find useful. But you have to do something for me first. How do we help them with the dog so Oh! Rusty's giving you a new challenge. Read the challenge. Uh, there, I just gave you a fiendish challenge that you must complete before I give you anything. I'll just rest here until you solve it. Good luck, kid. Hehehe. <laughs> Well, that was creepy. Like, real creepy. Uh, press that to open a Powell's menu. Go to Rusty's Challenges and press the... Okay. Your first challenge is to access the pause menu and read this challenge. In fact, by reading this right now, you have completed the challenge. Good job. Hmm. I don't feel very challenged by that. What? You finished already? Well, a deal's a deal. Here's what I promised. Uh, the trapping moccasins? Hmm, I thought you'd have more trouble with that challenge. Thanks. But don't worry, that was just the first of many challenges I'm thinking up for you. Whenever I think up a new challenge, I'll send you a message at the bottom of the screen. How would I just thought of some? Okay. Alright. You can see the details of each challenge and keep track of which ones you have completed in the Rusty's Challenges menu. Whenever you complete a challenge, come see me and I'll give you the th the, th the threats? The, the treats. The treats that I find. But why am I making you do this, you ask? Well, dog owners have been making their dogs do tricks and rewarding them with treats for ages. I just thought maybe it's time for the shoe to be on the other foot. Maybe I just get some sick thrill out of seeing our roles reversed. Well, that is weird. That's real strange. It's not wrong. All right, cool. Let's see what uh what we're good doing here. Let's see vantage description. Okay. Knowing what your advantage do, 
advantages do is the key to winning the battle. The X button is considered the Inquire button. Try pressing X when your cursor is pointing to a vantage in battle. Alright, that's, that's fine. I mean, I, I've already done that, but that's cool. I'm gonna sneak up on his bunny. He ain't gonna know what hit him. What's up, bunny? Oh, there's a lot of bunnies. This family of hares has challenged us for this territory. The party starts with extra power for getting the jump. Alright, we're gonna pause. And they're gonna be like, I wonder what, what pump does. Gradually increases the damage of your next single shot. Big gun attack. And I think that I'm going to unpause now. I'm going to tackle you. Nope, I'm going to blast you. Oh, okay. We wanted we could beagle bay this this one over here. And how about we just punch him? Punch him. I guess it didn't work. Ow, you bit me! I got bit by a bunny. I guess it just staggers them. Maybe we should uh read what it does next time instead of just doing it over and over. Oh, he's almost down. He's almost down. We're about to hit him with a with a blast, I guess. All right, bunny. We said good day, sir. Rat tat bang. The rabbits agree to let you pass, mostly because they're probably dead at this point. All right, punching bag never miss. Bonus. All right, cool. Give me that sweet sweet experience. Uh, Kid Stetson is now level three. Unlock the vantage tumble. Tumble power cost two. Successfully evade a physical attack, but lose all remaining power and drop the stand. That sounds awful. Why would I want that? Oh, and our boys got a fedora here. Okay. Bounty. Bounty power cost four. Regain power if this attack defeats the target. Uh, what does it do? It doesn't actually say what it does. I guess it's just a, a an attack. Okay. Um, I guess we'll use that instead of blast. We'll try a Stygian hair drop of the reagent pelt. All right. Well, let's go uh, talk with our puppet dog again. Knowing what your advantage to do is the key to winning. The we did. Oh, oh I, I have to go back and talk to him like physically, like in person. No, no, I did it again. I'm a terrible person. I'm so sorry. So we gotta go back and talk to our puppers. What's up, puppy? Rusty! Back again so soon, eh? I've been sniffing around for Moon and Rosie, and I think I picked up the scent. They're definitely nearby. Oh, we can save. We can do treats? Uh, give me a treat. I, I did your thing. I found this thing. Maybe it's something you can use. A fang. Cool. Alright, guys gals, I think that's gonna do it for this very first episode. It's an interesting game. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So you got the, the whole Western feel to the game, obviously. We're, we're cowboys and we're going up against some gang that's being bad. We got ourselves a beagle, which I happen to have a beagle in real life, so that's cool. And yeah, yeah, I like it. It's a, it's an interesting take on just like regular turn-based combat. Anyway, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature, just like it always is. Grab it on the Nintendo Switch and enjoy, or you can probably still pick it up on Steam. You definitely can. It's still there. And enjoy it that way. Either way, I'll have all those links down below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. There'll be plenty more of this to come. I'll probably do horrible because I'm really bad at, like, active time combat. But it does have a pause, which makes it a little bit interesting and a little bit easier for me to be able to handle i think we'll see we'll see all right folks till the very next episode my name is bumpy mcsquiggums thank you so much for stopping by the freak show and i will see you later